Necron 99. All right, hey everybody, what's up? It's uh, 99. I'm back again today, and I'm going to be answering a question I got from my last video. And that question was, can you use a MIDI uh, controller to control Beatmaker 2 using a camera connection kit? And the answer to that is yes. The longer answer to that is yes, but you're going to need a couple of things. So uh, let's just go ahead and get into that. So the first thing you're going to need is a camera connection kit. And that looks like this. It's just this little device that plugs into the back of your, your iPad so that you can hook up. Uh, it's originally supposed to be for cameras, but you can use it to plug in other uh, MIDI device or USB devices. In this case, a MIDI controller. Um, and what you do is you plug that into your, your iPad, just like this. And then the other thing you're going to need is you're going to need a powered USB hub. Well, for the most part, most USB uh, MIDI controllers draw too much power. So you're going to need a powered hub in order for the camera connection kit to accept it. There are some uh, MIDI keyboards out there that, that are made specifically for the iPad so that it draws very little power and you can run it through the connection kit. But for this purpose, I don't have one of those. So for this, we're going to use a powered USB hub. So I got my camera connection kit plugged into the iPad. I got my powered uh, USB hub plugged into power. And the out from my USB hub is going to go into the connection kit. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that up right now. So now I can take any MIDI keyboard that has a USB out and plug it into this powered hub. And for this demonstration, I'm going to be using the Akai MPK Mini. Okay, so I'm going to take my USB connection here. Apologize if it's noisy. I'm going to plug it directly into my powered hub. And there you go. It's good to go for uh, for Beatmaker. So let's go ahead and open up Beatmaker 2. Okay, I'm going to load a new project. Uh, let's go ahead and open up a keyboard sampler. I'm just going to go ahead and load a keyboard real quick for demonstration purposes. Church organ. Load. Open it up. And... All right, let's, let's move lower down so you can see it on the screen. There you go. You can also use it to control um, a drum machine. So let's go ahead and open up one of those. Let's just load a kit, drum and bass. Now this is a little bit trickier because on the drum machine, you can see on the actual pads, you have the name of the pad, which is uh, like this one here, that's A1. But in the bottom right corner of the pad, you can see, um, you can see which note on a keyboard it corresponds to. And this one is C minus two. And I don't know the proper name, so I may be saying that wrong. So if I hit this here, it's not going to do anything. And right now I'm in the center octave, so I'm on, I'm on the root C. <laughs> so I just got to go down some octaves. And it may be different for your keyboard depending on how many keys you have. So I go down. Nothing happens. Go down again. And there it is registering at the top, and that's on C minus 1. So if I hit it again, and now we're down here. And there you go. Um, for the MPK Mini, you have to do some programming inside a PC. You have to hook this up to a PC and run a Kai software. And then you can tell these pads where to uh, trigger on uh, which notes. So you, you kind of have to set this part up first if you have one of these. But for any other pad controller, that's just something you're going to have to, um, I guess, read the, the manual for that particular controller. So uh, there you have it. That's how you control. 
uh, BeatMaker 2 using a camera connection kit and a USB MIDI keyboard. Um, if you have any other questions, go ahead and hit me up through YouTube. You can find me at uh, Twitter at Dark Arod, or you can find me on Facebook. That's facebook.com slash Necron99. That's N-E-K-K-R-O-N-99. Um, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Go ahead and like and subscribe. Peace.